Bill Crosby. Bill Marder, Phil, uh, don't worry about it. Hang on. Uh, so, Fat Freddy's Drop, by the way. Really, 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 just a, a fantastic album. Uh, the album I like the best is called Based on a True Story. Check it out, man. It's, uh, it's on YouTube. There's an entire album on YouTube. It's called Fat Freddy's Drop. It's fucking really good. It's got like a reggae beat. It's got a bit of funk in there. It's good. It's got a little bit of everything, man. A little bit of Latin rhythm going on in the background. Um, so where are we? Uh, in my spare room. I'm suffering from dementia. Anyway, this is for George. 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 <laughs> it's, um, Oh, can't see. <laughs> and I'll bid on case number one. <laughs> anyway, there's a few quirks, as you would expect with my... Oh, they're not quirks. It's just I do something different thing, right? Uh, I'm just going to take the lux out for a second because I don't want to show the box and the gun fogs out. It would look like a right tit. So, uh, what you have in here, Georgie? George? George, George, sorry, it's fucking hell, um, there's, a, there's a tin of lube, George, I just like that name, <laughs> there's, a, there's a box of um, O-rings, I've been quite generous with the O-rings there, down here there's a little box with um, Allen keys in, underneath this blue bit of foam, uh, I put the foam in there because I don't want it rattling around, you've got your data cable, your charging unit, and only one freak insert as per the advert, right? I mean, 500 pound, brand new gun that's 1200 quid. Come on, come on, man. Um, plus, inserts, you can pick them up for pennies on eBay, and if you've probably got some already anyway. So let's just get rid of this. I'm just going to run you through. It makes my gun a little bit quirky. Well, it's not quirky, but anyway, start with... Uh, I've got poppers on the trigger frame, so you don't need to use any tools, okay? You just pull these, like so. And the next thing I change on mine, let's get rid of that little bit of grease, is I don't have a conventional FT screw. Now, the uh, FT screw is the little screw that goes in here, and basically what it does is it changes the exhaust valve size. There's only two sizes available. There's size of FT in and size with FT out. Now... On a standard gun, your standard exhaust port is 0.60 mil, just over half a millimetre. About a fly's leg, not a gnat's penis, a fly's leg. It's a new one, I just made that up. Um, now, the standard FT screw snaps, and it's, it's not that there's anything wrong with a screw, it's just people can't relate tiny screws need a tiny bit of force, right? And I've seen people with their sockets sitting there trying to get it off. Uh, my FT screw, of course, lives just inside here. Now, what I use as a replacement for the FT screw, if I can find an Allen key that fits. Does that fit? Yeah. I actually use a grub screw. It's not exactly the right size, but all I did is um, I just put a little tap in here and uh, I'll just turn that size out. This is your new screw. <laughs> in focus. Out of focus. In focus. Uh, I'm a focus group. Fuck you then. Go home. I am home. You go home! If you're watching this on your app, on your smartphone, you're probably on your way home anyway. Now put this in. All you do is you tighten it until it stops. Don't have to be the Incredible Hulk. Till it stops. Till it stops. And then take your tool out, right? Now the only thing is when you take this out, it doesn't fit in the hole in the frame for the FT screw anymore. Now, um, FT in, the exhaust port on this is 1.2 mil. FT out, the exhaust mil, uh, port is 2.5 mil. Um, which one to use? I know the question's coming. Best thing you can do, don't just buy this gun and then walk out onto the playing field and expect to win a game, because you're not. 
if you're not winning with what you got now, you're not going to win with this, you're not going to win with anything, right? That's a bit harsh. What I mean is, right, go down to your local paintball site, okay, buy a box of paint, go on to the firing range and just shoot, man. Just have a good time and just shoot. Try it with the FT in, try it with the FT out. Get a chrono without making any adjustments to the gun. See what the difference is over the chrono. Learn what your gun will do. Um, So that. Now, this has been at 75% for the last three or four months, so I know this battery is absolutely perfect. Unfortunately, uh, I would have liked to have given you, free of charge, a spare battery, but I simply don't have any, and uh, the batteries I do have are questionable. They've come back from shows, so... It could be shorted or faulty, so um, as long as you keep this battery charged, it'll just run and run and run. This is a good battery, there's nothing wrong with it, it holds a charge, it's absolutely perfect. Um, so let's, um, shall we shoot it? Shall we shoot it? Let's shoot it. Now, I've got almost no air in my bottle, plus I do not know the output pressure of the bottle you have at home, so when I send this to you, I will wind the regulator down. It will be up to you to turn the regulator up to get it running close to your 280 or 300 feet a second. I would suggest 280 feet a second. Paint just seems to like that. So let's just wind that up because I really have my, my actual gauge is actually reading zero, right? new bolt in, well not a new bolt, but an almost new bolt, uh, the bolt's got a new spring, new spring retainer, uh, I've generally gone through it and basically there's nothing that I need to change, because this gun is, Ooh. Les Dawson, I see I'm running out of air now, so I don't know what I had in there, in fact the actual needle is sitting on zero, which just goes to show you how ineffective these gauges are. Remember the conversation we had before about gauges. These gauges really are poo. Yeah, to give you a rough idea. Well, that was me this morning. Man, I really do talk about some... Um, just, you know, some thoroughly robot stuff. Hammerlock. Now, when I send this out to you, like I said, I'm going to turn the regulator down, okay? Um, there are little arrows on the bottom that tell you what way to turn the reg to put the pressure up. Now, do download all the information on this gun, because there's no handbook for it, and I don't have any CDs. But it's all available from the uh, DLX website, right? Do yourself a favour, go on there, download it, print it out. Don't say, I can't print it out. You can go to your local library, use the PCs there, free of charge, and print. It is only 10p a page. So when you go to play, and somebody else's luck goes wrong, you go, oh no, fix that. And they will think you're a god, and they will buy you tea and coffee and sandwiches all day. Unless it's your teammates, they just say, shut up again. So, um, this is going in the post today. Now, um, so I'm just about to wrap this up. And, um, kind of gutted to see it go, but there you go. Uh, it's been with me a long time. Even got my name on it. But, um, workshop's coming, lads. And I'm getting into uh, knife making in a big way now. I, I just love steel. And um, I've uh, found that I have a natural gift for making Damascus steel. I'm going to be doing a load of Damascus steel knives. And they are beautiful. But until uh, next time, until I've got them ready to show you, we'll see you right on. Bye!